What's up, Reddy? Safiq? Jenkins? Polar Dreams? What's good, baby? How we feeling? We feeling all right? It's good to have you guys, man. What's up, Chetty? How we feeling, Betty? What's up, CJ? Chase, what's up, man? How you doing, man? It's good to see you. How's everybody feeling tonight? Is it love in the air? I know my cum's in your hair. <laughs> Just playing, but for real though, my dildo. Y'all know how it be. Feeling good. He's at three, bitch. Chase, I've been seeing you guys some shows, dog. I'm, I'm doing good, Brady. Talk about how the day went. Keep it going. Need to hit the gym. Yes, you do. Been good today? I'm glad. Yeah, I saw you guys just put out that track. All right. Cheers, captains. What's up, kings? How we doing? How we feeling, kings? It's good to see you guys, man. Let me get on this... Uh, Get this focus. There we go. What's up, Kings? How we doing? Your guy got the Picasso shirt on today. Fuck with your boys. You like that? Got the Picasso shirt on, boy. Um, yeah, man, you gotta come by the gym. You gotta come by the gym, Chase, man. It's a good time. We have a lot of fun out there. How's the music? It's not too loud, is it? We turn down slow mo. High and horny, baby. Hey, that's why you got a girl, right? Nah, I mean. You got your little chica. Cass just got me these. Or Cass got me this. Um, it's like a little Picasso shirt. I don't really know. What's up, Mukbang? How you feeling? Speak. appreciate that. But how's everybody feeling, man? What you drinking on? This is just some cold brew. Cold brew, buddy. Cold brew. That's all it is. Just cold brew on ice. That's all it is. It's just cold brew. Um... I just wanted to do that today. So I usually do, um, I was going to start doing like wine, but I was like, you know what? Let me cut back on the alcohol. So we'll just do some cold brew. Um, coffee is actually great for a post meal, post meal, little drink. You know what I mean? So Picasso was for real, man. He was, he was a for real though. My dildo, he was a bad man. Pablo Picasso. His middle name was Ruiz was a Spanish painter, sculptor, paint maker, Ceramicist, a theater designer who spent most of his adult life in France. He was alive from 1881 to 1973. Damn. It sounds like a motherfucker was old as hell. I don't know why I thought he was ancient, but that motherfucker lived in the 70s. Probably smoking hella cigs. He looks like if, uh, if Hitler had a slow brother. I'm going to go to hell for that. I'm going to go to hell for that. But yeah, quit my job trying to start my own business. Um, Jetty, man, I hope it works out, bro. I really do. This is Spitler right here. Check my man out. <laughs> I'm fucking going to hell for that. Golly damn. Follow my man Chetty's new page. He's making stickers and shit. He does look like Hitler had a slow brother, though. No cap. Some of these paintings be weird as fuck. Like, look at some of his shit. I don't even know if I can shit. This might be sexually suggestive, but some of the shit he got is cray-cray, dude. I get banned for some of this shit. Like these portions of shit. Elk underscore I mean, Jenkins right, right donated here. $2. Gigolo. Hey, Jenkins. Appreciate that, man. Mad love. Mad love. Shiggity's in chat for my man, Jank. I appreciate that, homie. I, my phone buzzed. I was like, who is this? Because when y'all be donating, it be showing your government name and shit. Gigolo, bro, don't you dare start with that shit, bro. <laughs> don't you dare start with that shit. Oh, my God. You clowning on that. You clowning on that, bro. Um, Yeah, y'all just peep, peep a sister, man. It'll, 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 it'll make a lot more sense. But let's talk about what happened today, man. Another, another great day in the books. 
um i don't like to use the word blessed a lot but some days i don't know if because uh, i'm not religious you guys know i'm atheist i'm a raging atheist but some days you wake up and you're just kind of like you're blessed to be here you know what i mean like damn i made it another day i could be in jail i could be six feet under i could be i could be a, a damn alligator for all i fucking know you know what i mean so it's just good to wake up today um some new things cast got me these new shirts i'll be rocking a couple of them for the next few streams um we got a new mattress topper today i don't know if you guys really fuck with mattress toppers but hot damn it boy they're about as good as they damn get i fucking love me a good old mattress topper so if you ain't got one i highly suggest getting it especially if your mattress is kind of beat up and you can't afford to get a new mattress get you a mattress topper boy that's what we did and i am loving it it's not a pillow top it's something like um hmm it's like i don't know we bought it off amazon it was like a hundred and something bucks but it's like it's like three or four inches of just straight plush it's got like, like this cooling material and you just lay on it and it's oh man it's so soft bro i highly suggest it highly if you haven't gotten one in the past highly suggest getting one um they're hella dope but work was good today man it was super chill um same old same old making that bread saving it up boy i hope all you guys are doing the damn same is making your money trying to save a little bit invest a little bit if you haven't used the celsius wallet yet please and you have crypto if you have crypto get you a fucking cr the crypto wallet celsius wallet bro you got to get on that the reason why is because you can earn apy on your money it's basically like having your money in a savings account you earn two percent you know when you have it at a bank but with crypto you earn way more i know it's more volatile but you earn way more eight to twelve percent like on synthetic the synthetic networks token i think it's like 12.99 percent that's crazy amount of apy now the the coin could tank but more than likely it won't you like the stock market stock market's good too i don't know too much about it i stick to what i know i like crypto so i stuck to that but other in other news yeah work was good it was chill it's an it's, it kind of rained a little bit today it was thundering a little bit i don't have i don't have that polar dreams i need to put that up let me uh let me just celsius network here we go unbank yourself bank that's the celsius network if you use my um damn let me get my referral code up again i'll put that up for you guys so if you have oh, here's a deal if you have over 400 dollars in bitcoin like yeah my money's just going up you signed up for your but your promo didn't work let me try it again let me try to get you that promo, big dog. Refer your friends. Okay, here we go. I'm just going to copy it. Here, I'm going to share a unique link. I'm going to just put that in the chat right now. I got you. Here, I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, Brady, I'm going to do a unique link for the Celsius wallet. Because the thing is, bro, is if you do this... That's it right there. Boom. See, look at that. $50 in Bitcoin. First transfer of $400 or more. So get your ass in there, boy. Uh, Brady, can you make that? The, yeah, thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you, sir. But yeah, man, today was good. See if you can use that referral code. Use that shit. I might have typed it in wrong last time. Be real with you. But today was chill, man. Today was so chill. Chetty, you forgot to get your sand from Mexico, big dog. So that means you're gonna have to come back. Brady's a man for real, for real. Night bought it. Uh, Brady will hook it up. I ain't worried. Brady will make it work. Comfortable way possible, yeah. Um, but yeah, I highly suggest it, bro. Highly suggest it. I've got it, and I, I was in an Uber one day. A dude was like, "Bro, you don't have your money in a Celsius in a in a wallet." I was like, "No." He's like, "Bro, you're fucking up." And he's like, "Bro, you gotta get that." I was like, "Okay." I was like, I'm going to do it. And he's like, it'll give you 40 bucks in, in Bitcoin if you do it. And I was, I did it. And I was like, damn, a month later, I had 40 more bucks in Bitcoin. And now they bumped it up to 50 bucks. So there you go. Do it. Um, But yeah, man, how was y'all's day? Was it chill? We'll do a mental health check real quick. Put one word in the chat of how your day was or how you feeling right now. One word in the chat, how you feeling? Let's let's get a let's get a little check on the mentals. 
One word in the chat. How you feeling, man? How you feel? How you guys feeling, man? Productive. What'd you get done today, bro? Chilling, CJ. I feel like you always chilling. CJ, is it a bet? Tired. <laughs> CJ, is it a bet that you're always high? Are you high 90% of the time or 100% of the time? Uh, Muckbang, you're tired? Get you, get you some rest, little baby. Jenkins, weed. There you go. Relinquished. I got to look up the damn relinquished. I don't even know the damn definition to relinquished. Voluntarily cease to keep calm or give up. He relinquished his managerial role to become chief chief executive. Okay, so you're calm. Relinquished, 100%. It's not fully ready, but that project told you about that. <laughs> CJ, always high. Mustard and ketchup. Relish. Polar Dreams, you're tired. I feel you, bro. I feel you, big dog. Have you seen Have you seen that um, that crackhead video where she's like, ketchup, mustard? Have y'all seen that shit? Bro, that shit cracks me up. Ketchup, mustard. Let's see this shit. Y'all ain't seen this chick? Y'all ain't never seen ketchup, mustard, the crackhead ketchup, mustard? <laughs> Y'all never seen this bitch? Bro. <laughs> Just wait, homie. Let me pause the music real quick. Ketchup mustard. Hey, yeah, what's up? Tony Wood. Hey, what's up? Ketchup mustard. Yeah, what's up? Tony Wood. Boss man. I own the satellite. She owns a satellite. I own Facebook. She owns Facebook. I put a million dollars on it, tell your mom here. Yeah. She's got the she's got the she's got the beer gut intact, the baggy pants. I don't even know how that little bralette's holding them flapjacks up, but let's keep watching. I'm not joking. Why are you recording me on my own phone? Crack kills. This is a lawsuit Say, get out of right here. here what get is out for the yes? Or what is for missiles? And she could, what's sad is she could have been cute. She really could have been kind of cute, but she blew it away. She All that has been blown away in the wind when you smoke a couple crack rocks. Kids, fucking stay in school. Don't smoke crack. And national security of the United States and blowing the cover of ketchup, mustard, and yes, of an architect company that is for international. You can face a federal pension. Now, U.S. Marshal, you have the right to remain silent. You could face a federal pension from a U.S. Marshal. Shit, I want a pension. I'll take a pension. Teeth are surprisingly in check. She didn't smoke her kneecaps off or nothing, but she did her makeup. Anything you say or do would be easy to get square law. Now, Nuke just fucked up. Now, right here, my nickname get is back. King. It's your fucking crazy ass back. Wait, Look, don't record check me. this she's out. In the, she's in the PJs, get bro. She's in the projects, homie. Hey, go get some mayonnaise, nigga. Bitch, you fucked up. I don't give a fuck. She walked up, ketchup mustard, go, go get some mayonnaise. Get this bitch some bread so she can make a sandwich. Go tell your army. <laughs> That's my shit you're on. You as Marshall? Hey. You better get back. You better get this shit off uh, here. I don't give a fuck. What's up, Kelly? What's up, everybody on the internet? I run this shit. I run this shit. I got those pipes protected. And yeah, those are my satellites. What's up? Me? Who's Tim? I own that shit. Now, Michelle, what's so funny? I have the satellites, so why the fuck do we need a building for a people? <laughs> she, man, I, I just want, like, whatever she's on, how is it uh, people? I just don't, I don't understand how you can be this fucked up and also coherent at the same time. Like, she is clearly out of her gourd, busted to bits, between her earlobes, but she is still managing to put together sentences that half ass make sense. <laughs> Working when we can just do it on chips. Yeah, right, El Supreme. That's my baby sign. <laughs> Ketchup, mustard. We were trying to save people for tax I can't even watch any more of it. It's so cringe. Um, it hurts to watch. All right, so let me show you. There's a, apparently a follow up video of Ketchup Mustard. I haven't seen this. I need to go buy all the chips right now. Same jeans. What happened? Why are you calling my shit? You see that? Say it. Judge, Pizza Hut, Oakland, Oakland, right here. My professor is gonna be a judge. 
Why are you guys just showing me? This is my Hold shit. Up, man. Sorry, Hold Tang. Hold up, shut I'm up. Not, well, I didn't give you permission to record me. Leave me the hell alone. You already threatened me. Who threatened you? You just have friends and you're accessorate with those people right there. The girl's injured and trying you to break accessory. my head right here. When I happened? Leave me the fuck alone. I almost got raped earlier in By my who? apartment. By who? I don't know his name, but Charles, it was one of Charles' associates. I thought it was, uh, say, I look, thought that was, uh, I thought that was the guard you be look, talking I'm to. I'm be cool like this. The sorceress? I'm be cool like this. I'm be cool like this. I ain't gonna let stay here. If y'all want me here, I'll fucking leave. But it ain't none of y'all's business. If I want to be with who I want to be, that's me. Does she still have the same makeup on as she did in the other video? Is it the same makeup? It seems like she didn't change the makeup. But y'all have to come here and mess with me like that, and y'all don't have to bother, tell me to shut the fuck up when I'm not even talking. <laughs> bitch, I feel like you tell yourself to shut the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? This bitch, y'all ain't y'all know shit about my ketchup mustard, bro. Y'all gotta get on that ketchup mustard game, bro. Come on. That's why you don't do crack, kids. Video's got 280,000 views. This bitch could be a live streamer and be the next. Ooh, she's got a freestyle rap. Dude, this is bad. Mrs. Ketchup Mustard is back. This time with a freestyle rap. Oh my god, I haven't seen this one. Let's check this one out. Yeah. Shit is fire. I ain't part of that. I'm a god's angel. God says so. King shows fly. That's what I know. That's what's my life. I love everything. Ooh, shit, boy. It's bad when your tummy jiggles more than your titties. Good God. Good God. Dead Man Lunar Ketchup Mustard Girl EP. It's kind of dropping soon, guys. Thomas Crackhead that hangs out near my job, be out in the middle of nowhere, Boulevard, doing like the thriller dance in his drawers. Hey, they be about that shit, though. You don't understand it. These motherfuckers really be about the shits. These crackheads, like, they got the strength of 10 men. It's crazy how strong these crackheads could be, bro. Like, it's crazy. Like, I'm telling you, it is, it is nuts, man. How strong these crackheads are. Like the, these crackheads, you could you could get them to lift a truck off your, your legs if you was caught under a damn truck. I've seen a crackhead before do somebody's homework and then turn it in for them. Come back and try to get paid. Didn't get paid. Just kidding, I've never seen that. I've seen crackheads do some crazy shit though. You can make a crackhead do anything for five dollars. You can literally make a crackhead do anything for five dollars. Let's just type in give a crackhead five dollars. I've seen crackheads do like backflips off of shit. It's so bad. Dude, these crackheads, man. Fucking hell. I bet a million dollars you will laugh. Crackheads edition. Here we go. Here we go. So was it a scam? Nah, he 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 did uh he did my homework pretty solid. Look, only in the hood, only on the west side. Only on Chicago Avenue or Cicero. Look at this motherfucker. <laughs> In the donation box. He's in the donation Look box. Look at this shit. Close. This shit crazy. Check this shit out. This motherfucker all oh, in the donation box. He's in crazy. The as He's a pit rat. How long this take you to train him? This not walking a squirrel. Wow. He asked him how old he was. Go down. He's trained. He said he's trained. Wow. He's a pit rat. How long take you to train him? He's almost a year old. Wow. Almost a year old. No, no, no. Why are you running back? Get up. Get down. Bye-bye. Get up. Get down, boy. He's being a little hard here right now. I don't. Dude, that squirrel, I'm sorry, but I would never let a squirrel Only in St. Louis. What is this? It's your boy. Only in St. Louis. What? This nigga cold with it. He's riding a bike backwards? Oh, What the fuck? real... Swain that bitch, bro. Swain that bitch. Oh. 
And you know we get down. Welcome to our city, nigga. Welcome to our sound. Put a nigga in the ground. Top of full of bullets. Here I got a lot of St. Louis niggas. Oh my God. They had too much time on their hands in the streets. Is that her real hair? I think so. And we roll with them AK fuck with the time about nigga up all day. They just they're looking for a show. Looking for a show. Album is coming. Remy Ma now. had one too many movies. Out. I don't know. It's just stuff. <laughs> it's just stuff. Man has a kangaroo on a leash. Oh yeah, she got the on. What the? The fuck? Gangsta lead on that. She on that gangsta hey. lead. Look at that gangsta Go lead. lead. Oh, Go shit. Right, Look at that Riddick. shit, dude. Go ahead, Fucking gangsta lead. Look, Look at that shit. Look at that lead with it. Oh my god, they did not. <laughs> they did not, bro. <laughs> this is not real. Lizard lady! You for real? Oh, she you got one crawling up on her, too. Oh, shit, he heavy like that? Look at this. Goomy Goo Goo kiss my ass. What in the Dolly Parton like dog like shit is that? What <laughs> the yeah, fuck is going like on? Crackheads always take things to the next... What? How, why would you even want to... I feel like you got, have shoulder pain right now. Uh, uh, a little bit. Wait, go that ahead. one looked good. Uh, one look good. Uh, go crazy. Go stupid. Uh, uh, go crazy. Yeah. Go stupid. Uh. <laughs> go crazy. A uh, 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 little bit. She had two of them, yeah. Here we go. go. Ahead. Ooh, damn! Bruce oh shit, <laughs> man! I don't want to fuck with you, man. No, nah, hell no. Nah. <laughs> what is up with these motherfuckers having shit on leashes? Like they catch anything, put it on a leash. Like, bro, you're not supposed to have a big ass lizard on a leash. It's not a dog. Is, is this guy dead? He ain't dead. You can't kill Sir? a crackhead that easy. Huh? Oh. You huh. scared the hell out of me. I'm just laying down. Oh, you ain't never last. You ain't never last. You ain't never last. <laughs> Come on with your pistol play, nigga. You ain't never last. You ain't never last. You ain't last. Fuck, fuck. You ain't never last. You ain't never last. You ain't never last. I don't think any of those guys have ever lied before. You ain't never last. I'll pull that nigga. Big, 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 big. I'm sorry, I can't. I can't. <laughs> it's the guy in the back going, bah, bah, bah. It's that dude for me, man. Good God. I can't believe we, we, went, we went down Crackhead Alley pretty quick there. Damn. Yo, that shit is, that shit is bad, dog. Man. Okay, let's get, okay, never mind. Let's get back to it. This, it's the sound oh, uh -oh. Shit. <laughs> oh shit! Is this a dance song? <laughs> oh, he hit him with the fans on the back. My family was kidnapped by ninjas. Where the ninjas come from? My whole family was kidnapped by ninjas. I need money for a karate class. Who in the fuck are you fooling? My God! One sec, I gotta, I gotta get a, uh, I gotta get a tight shot in here. One sec, I gotta, I gotta do this real quick. One sec, I got, I gotta create a scene of just like a who. In the fuck is you fooling, bro? You ain't fooling nobody. Goodness gracious, bro. Like I tell you, cut that down. What you tell 
<laughs> she started singing opera. What the fuck? <laughs> it just came out from over there. What the pond. duck is this? In the, or it be in the pond. Up trying to get up in people's cars. It's wild. It's not wild. That's not a wild. They open the ministry. They don't get no bigger than that. Hey, where you? Everybody's tail was bald. Where you find the possum at? They come like that. Best and dog. Then I, I, I see no dog look like that, but... Man, how you get that possum on the on tail like that? Huh? How you get the... <laughs> and how you get that possum tied up on the tail like that? Well, I'll be like on the tail, and, and he wrapped his dog on the tail around here. Oh, shit. Possum wrapped tail around him. Yeah. If you ain't careful, he'll climb his tail and bite that ass, you hear me? I ain't bullshit. Look, that's that sucker. These crackheads do anything for a dollar, man. Oh my god, they really will Here though. Oh, comes. oh my god. Here it comes. <laughs> crackheads will do anything for a dollar, bro. Five dollars, they'll break their back for a five dollars. How has he got white ass shoes? Where are you going with that? Just ran that dude over. Fucked his ankles all up. Gonna do with it. I'm gonna buy me a bill. That's all that only costs a dollar. Mike, give me a dollar, Dean. Come on, what's up, my car? I feel like some of these people aren't crackheads. I feel like some of them are just legitimately mentally handicapped because that shit. The Mario edit of the last video. Good God. This boy stuck in time. Boy, I got that virus. Boy, hell no. Boy, that boy is stuck in time. <laughs> that boy is stuck in time. Have y'all seen that Idris Elba one? Idris Elba holding pole. Have you seen that one? Ah, uh, what was it? It's like the homeless, homeless Idris Elba. Have y'all not seen this one? Ah oh, man, where is it? It's like um Oh man, this one's so good. He's like holding on to a pole. And he looks like a fat Idris Elba. Oh come on, dude. Where is this? Have you seen it? Have you seen it? Saw the girl in the what did you say? Five hours. Doo doo, thanks so much. Doo doo with the tier three, thanks so much. Fourteen month streak, shiggity's in the chat for doo doo. Thanks so much, doo doo. I appreciate that. Thanks, doo doo. Appreciate that. That's fucking mad love, dude. Mad love. You understand? Mad fucking love. You get that? Mad love. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that. How you been, dude? How you been, Mister Mister Feces? I, or, I don't know. Maybe that's maybe I shouldn't call you that, Mister Feces. So the girl in Reese's short clip, oink on the steer behind. What was that? Have you seen the Whitakers on YouTube? I have not. Mister Feces himself, the Whitakers. What is that? Let's check out the Whitakers. Oh, my God. Bro, this shit ain't real. Is this that inbred family? Thanks so much, Doodoo, for the tier three. Love you, dog. Hope life has been good. How's Fierce Lady been? She been good? Oh, he does like a long-ass explanation. The inbred family. Bro, is this shit about to get real? Is this shit about to get real? What's, who's this? 
His name's Ray. Ray? I remember Ray. I photographed you, Ray. Do you remember? <laughs> Years ago. And your name is? Lorraine. Lorraine. And Timmy. Yeah. Now, you guys grew up here in, in, uh, in Odd, West Virginia. How, how many years have you lived here? I'm going to be real with you, bro. This motherfucker barking like a dog eating just a straight bread sandwich. She's got like the vomit on the shirt with the buttoned up polo. Dog food, a Dr. Pepper. Is it bad that the dogs look like they got their shit together? This is fucked up. I'm going to go to hell for this, bro. I'm going to hell for this. She got no pajamas. All I got to say is like we got people dying. These motherfuckers all look old as shit. How have they lived this long? Fuck. Let's keep it going. Oh, my life. Oh, my life. You, you're, uh... Did you birth these things? <laughs> you guys, I mean, did you go to school? You did? Some, 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 of your some of your brothers and sisters probably didn't go to school, or how much schooling did they get? He's been chewing on that same bite 10 minutes. They graduated. You he graduated? You went to high school? Boy, you capping. He did not he did not graduate. You are capping. No, she didn't went to school. She didn't. She didn't went to school. I can tell by your grammar. Come on out. I'm sorry, bro, but this looks have you ever seen that movie Wrong Turn? This movie looks like that shit wrong turn. Come here, Ray! Even the dog's like, hey, I got my shit together. Interview me. Ray, tell, tell me about your family. Bro, you've been hearing him bark the whole time. How dare you ask him a question? He's been barking like a damn dog the whole time. You're going to ask him, Ray, tell me about your family. You know that motherfucker's only word is, Meh. I'm going to ask him a goddamn question. He's walking in this bitch. Oh, I bet it smells like doo-doo biscuits in that hoe. No offense, doo-doo. But he probably hear, he probably hears the dogs barking and just barks too. Bro, I'm going to hell. You, you lost your brother since I was here last. I'm going straight to hell. Tell, tell me about your brother. Tell me about your brother. Motherfucker, you've been hearing him barking with the upside down Dr. Pepper bottle the whole time. You gonna ask him a question like that? It's just straight filth in there. Come out on the porch. He's old too, bro. This man's like, he definitely older. <laughs> Man, he's got the eyes too, bro. I don't even know. Did you? Did I buy some CX coin, bro? <laughs> hell no. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. All right, I found something. I can't. I can't do it. I can't do it. It's too much. Here's what I don't get. How do these two make a that? That's actually a cute kid. That's a cute kid. I can't do it. This is like torture. Good God. Now let's let's check out CX coin today. Let's check that out. That's Timmy. He was a cute ass kid. Let's see if it's making a comeback. All right. Is CX coin making a comeback? Negative Ghost Rider. Negative Ghost Rider. Yep. I can't do it. I can't do that. I can't. I can't. That is too. It's too much. It's too much. I just like the drool and the. Gives me like the heber jeebers. So then I Dude, what the fuck? We are in the dark part of YouTube right now. This channel is actually pretty good. They got some good videos. Hey, how we doing today? Just Josh and I'm doing good, man. How you doing, dog? Watching some crazy shit. All right, let's get on um, LSF and see what we got. 
All right. Crazy shit on LSF. Oh, they took it down. Oh, there was a dude um, in... Wait, where was it at? Uh, let's do the new ones, yeah. Uh, let's see here. Hot. Mm, no, there was there was a there was one about some dude, some Brazilian streamer, who actually got caught with some pedoph pedophilia shit. I wanted to see that one, but I guess they took that down. I guess they took that shit down. But yeah. Um, let's see here. Let's see here. I guess they took it down. Yeah, there was a dude who got caught, like... There's a dude that got caught. He Apparently, he fucked, like... He got in trouble for fucking, like, sexual allegations against a 10 and a 14-year-old. But the dude has, like... One sec. Uh, if it was a clip on Twitch, I'm sure it's purged. Yeah, one sec. Did he get the Tesla, too? Yeah, he bought the Tesla. Allegations, Brazil. He was a Brazilian streamer. Just, I just want you to see this dude. Here we go. Here we go. It was on LSF earlier. Brazilian Fortnite streamer Raul Zito arrested over allegations of raping children. Look at this dude. Pink beard, blue hair. Accused of vulnerable rape. Oh, of raping a vulnerable person. Oh. Between the ages of 10 and 14. I mean, who would have thought with a fucking face like that? Pink beard, blue hair. How many subs does he have? 200k followers on Instagram. 118k on Twitch. 144,000 subscribers. 1.8 million views. The content that you can put on the living room TV for everyone to see. Many reports say he regularly boasted of playing with young adults online. Man, these dudes are fucking, come on, bro. Gross. Fucking sick. Yeah. And there's pictures with this dude. 14 much shiggity boy. I just saw that you said that. Um, uh, Raul. The sad thing is, is there's like pics of him with like kids and shit. That's the fucked up thing is like. There's like a picture with him at like a GameStop with a bunch of kids. And I'm just like, oh, man. Oh, shit. He's getting his, though. They put his bitch ass in the whip. Bang, bang. Woo, woo. Party lights, boys. What a sick fuck. Sick fuck. I feel like if you have allegations, like, pretty, that's basically true. Like, if somebody's like, you're a crackhead, you're a crackhead, you're a crackhead, and, like, a million people say you're a crackhead, it's probably because you're a fucking crackhead. Happens is when people have to pass me by, like, when everyone has to... Um, all this other shit on LSF is usually, I, I hate to say it, but it's usually trash. It's not even funny. It's just, like, the popular kids. It's, like, the one thing the popular kids say. But that was actually, like, I was like, that is newsworthy. You know what I mean? Fluff Muffin, what's good, man? It's good to have you. Here we go. Oh, have y'all seen this one? I love these. I love these so much. Drive this car. You've gone through emails. You've looked at pictures. Okay. Everything but drive the car. She said, okay. okay. It's illegal. Okay. Is there a reason you might be doing this? or? Um, I'm at a... Are you pulling me over because I'm... Yeah, sure. Um, I'll go ahead and pull you over then. I'll have you pull into the. Uh, I, I didn't mean that. I'll, I'll have parents, you pull dude. over into the BP. Um, are you pulling me over for that. like? Hang tight. You know, like a reason. That's fine. Pull all the way up, please. Thank you. These Karens so entitled, though. I'll show y'all one of my favorite Karen videos after this. Okay, um, nothing, ma'am. Okay, so then am I getting a citation? Yes, ma'am. Um, under Ohio State law, you can only pull me over for texting if there is another offense and give me a ticket. Well, I've done this 20 years, and you're wrong. Um, in I, the just, city. I just pulled that. 
up. Except for the city of Dublin. You need to look up the city of Columbus, ma'am. This is the code I'm going to actually give you. It's 2131.44B. Okay. I'm actually going to give you a copy of the law today. Great. It Ooh. is primary offense. Need that law, Just so honey. You know, also, walking up to a woman's car, mm -hmm. you should have pulled me over. You're lucky I didn't have my pepper spray on me. You scared the ever living shit. Well, if, you wouldn't, if you woman, would not, if you weren't going through emails, sir, you would probably be not, more observant. I'm not trying to be an asshole. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, as a woman, mm -hmm. I'm actually shaking right now because you scared the ever living shit out of me. Well, I've made over ever seven living. thousand traffic sir, stops, I and I've that was a veil threat. It really was. You, so. I understand that, sir, but I'm telling you, as a woman, as mm -hmm. a woman, you made me feel unsafe. I'm okay, safe. I'm a public safety official, ma'am. I understand ma that, but I please listen to what I am saying. Please, please listen not to me, because what I say is important. Of me. me trying to get out of a ticket, which I'm not. Oh, you won't get I'm out of it, yeah. Sir, I can assure you of that. Sir, can I please finish mm -hmm. my sentence? Go ahead. As a public employee, mm -hmm. I am letting you know, as somebody oh, who Oh, God, pays, here we go. Who is a person who pays... This woman knows the law better than the cop does. Uh, sir, please. No, I'm no longer going to listen to you. I'm, I'm no I'm longer going you. to listen to you. I'm going to give you your driver's license Thanks. back. What you are being cited with is with is you, texting while driving. Right. I gave you a copy of the law. You're Just gonna pay have the ticket, options. dude. Like, you got caught, Your first you option, it's going to be right here, ma'am. It's K Connor badge 1300. It's at the bottom of your citation. Your pen, no, ma'am. You will. You, all I have to do is provide it to you. It's on the bottom like, of let your, me your citation. Pen. So let me put you guys onto something real quick. Options. Let's go ahead and pause this. Let me put you guys onto something. I found this out the other day. So for anybody that's like, you come in contact with a Karen, right? Here's what it really is. It's called a sign, right? S I G N. Shame, insults, guilt, and the need to be right. When you come in contact with a person that feels like their ego has been attacked or you are getting one over on them and their ego is so inflated that they're like, no, you cannot do that. You can, I have to be right. It's called, it's a sign because it's shame, insults, guilt, and the need to be right. That's what they do. They have to be right. Like she has to be right. She has to shame him. She has to insult him. I would have pepper sprayed you. She has to guilt him and she needs to be right. She's like telling him the code, like... Anytime I see one of those people, like look for that. It's a sign. Shame, insults, guilt, the need to be right. It's so it's once you once I realized that's what it is, I was like, wow, that's what these people do. Um I had a, you had a crazy night, Fresh Kills. What happened? I bet she's gonna try and yoink that pen. She's gonna be like, give me that pen, sir. Um now let me show you guys, let me show you guys my favorite. This is my favorite Karen arrest. Old Karen gets arrested. Oh man, I love this one. This one I is just. I, I wish I would have had this when I was growing up. This is my favorite Karen arrest. Oh, I love it so much. Hello. My favorite Karen. Hi. Arrest. So what's going on with your truck? It's been hit, and we're waiting to see if I can't find a bed for it. A short bed. It's drivable. Yeah, but it's not legal because you got to bust a tail light. You got your driver's license insurance on you? you? See those pursed lips? She's so mad. But she, she this one's a classic. She's like, it's drivable, making justifications. It's drivable. Yeah, but it's not legal because you got a busted tail light. You got your driver's license those insurance on lips. you? It's just madder than a hornet's nest, boy. I love this one so much. This I've is my favorite. I've driven it up here ever since it's been like this. How long ago has it been like that? Uh, probably about six months. Oh, okay. Well, you've had plenty of time to get it fixed. About six months. Yeah, they won't okay. hassle me. I'm a little old lady. Well, I drive to Kingfisher. I drive to Gatherer. You guys stay off the interstate. Just keep making justifications for it. You live here in town? No, my name's Hamel. I live out on Highway 74. Hamel, huh? They're blasting her. Look at that. Gotcha. They put her license on that whole and everything. Related to Hank? So good, good I'm his mother. Oh, okay. Insurance. Someone threw a butcher knife at me and it went through my chest because I only talked to a female and see you walking past someone. Bro, how the fuck do you get a butcher knife thrown through All your right. chest? Appreciate how are you alive? Are you capping? Yeah, busted tail light seems to be a pattern with the Hamels. Well, y'all had a headlight out on one of your cop cars the other night. We did? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I just don't feel you. We should have. Yeah, I guess so. All right, Look at her. She, she's me. like, well, you guys had a bus tail light on one of your cruisers, and 
that nest. I had to insult him. I had to insult him. I'm Shame, saying. insult, guilt, but need to be right. Tony, the the thing, that thing is busted as shit, though. She's on a little old country All town, right, too. Samuel. At the church. Since you informed me that you've had that for six months. Oh, yeah. And we're just looking for a bed because we can't find a short bed. I mean, my brother's you, looking for it. Can we're you at least get the light? Hunting for it. I don't know if I can get the light. Uh, those, they've got lights on them, don't they? They do have lights in them, and they do work. Well, you're getting yeah, skills. It's crazy. Yeah, I know it's so broken. So if you hit your brake lights, that white I, bulb's going to blind somebody at night. Oh, okay. Well, can that's, you put that's, red tape on it? Does that work? Yeah, but I don't think... I don't think red tape's gonna help you there. You don't have a, enough plastic to tape over. Well, you know, I kind of hate to buy one if I'm gonna get the whole bed and it's gonna have everything on it. I got gotcha. you. You know, I just don't want to spend the money. I understand. And you know, I don't drive it to Texas. I don't drive it to the city. I go to Guthrie, Kingfisher. Dude, this one is so I'm going so right now to check on cattle. Sense. Okay. Well, I did issue a, for a defective equipment. It's eighty dollars. Uh, you have till September sixteenth to take care of this. Uh, get you to sign there with the exodus. So you don't even give a warning for this? You've been driving around for six months like that. I'm truthful. Well, I'm not going to give you a warning for something you've been driving for, for six, six months. months. But you, you've seen me in here. You've seen me in No, I, I haven't. You had to have been up here. Nope. Either you've way, I'm issuing you a citation. Sign there, please. Well, I don't want to sign it because I don't want to do eighty dollars. You don't want to sign it? No, because I don't think that I deserve to pay eighty dollars for something that is fixable and I can fix it. All right. That's all. You Just wait. This is how you turn a misdemeanor eighty dollar ticket into a felony. Go. Go ahead, step out of the car. Why? Because you're under arrest. Step out. Step out of the vehicle. No, I'm not. Step out. No. Step out. I'm giving you a lawful order to step out. This is how you turn an $80 misdemeanor. You be fair with me and I'll be fair with you. Step out. No. You're under arrest. No, I'm not. I'm placing you under arrest. No. Step you out. You are full of because you're not under no damn arrest. Step out. No, I'm not. 305, no, 303. Dude, I love this one. I watch it every time. Do not. She's rolling not away. Shut up and give me that and I'll sign it. Step out. No. no we're beyond that. You want Step me to out. Skirt off. He's like, uh oh. Fresh skills, I hope you recover quickly too, though. Here's how to turn a misdemeanor into a felony. And go. This is how you speed run a felony. 305 dispatch. Got one taken off. Did she really think she's just gonna skirt off on this dude? We're gonna be pulling into the DEP oil facility. Is she going? She is! Get out of the car! 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 Entitlement. Get out of the car. Entitlement, bro. That was kind of loud, sorry. Get out of the car. Get out of the car. You better leave me. You better leave me. Yoink. Put your hands behind your leave back. Leave me alone. Put your hands behind your back. <laughs> no. Now. You love to see it. She kicked him. She's kicking him. He's like, I'm about to tase you. Put your hands behind your back! I love it. I love it. Put your hands behind your back! When the butterball turkey Lay fights down back. Put your hands behind your back. I will stand up. Now! I will stand up. No, you will not. She just You're wants to make the rules. Again. She 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 got, it's a sign, right? She needs to be right. She ha she's like, I'll stand up. Just give me the ticket. She's like he's like, you are not in control of this situation, Butterbean. This looks like Butterbean's grandma. He's like, bitch, I will keep shocking your bitch ass. He's pulling, he's just, man. She's like, oh, oh. 10,000 volts will light your ass up like a Christmas tree, boy. Get those flapjack arms, baby. Get them, give me them bingo wings. You wanted a felony. Play stupid games, you win stupid prizes. Lucky you, you won. She's probably never been arrested Don't either. Move. I feel bad for her husband. 
That's how you turn an $80 uh, taser ticket one female into a felony. Me. Getting chased down and getting tased. Do you think he wanted to do that? He did not want to do that. He didn't want to tase a, a, Why didn't a you just grandma sign the turkey. Damn ticket? This is somebody's grandma, dude. Yeah, you know Aunt May's in the right. She hasn't been properly explained the laws. Yeah. You think he wanted to do it? I don't think he wanted to do it. He wanted her to sign the ticket. He's like, sign the ticket, please. Sign the ticket. She's like, I'm not doing it. And he's like, well, kind of are. Go ahead and roll to your back. All right, snow your butt. Hurt? That's when yeah, you know you need to get on the treadmill when you're what hurts. Everything. Alright, I got EMS on the way to same time. I don't need an ambulance. You got a what on the way? I got an ambulance on the way, check you out. Ambulance? I don't need an ambulance. Well, you got taste, so they gotta check you out. That's her ego, bro. Well, can you just stand me up? Yeah. Well, I'm here. Better run, then you can taste it right. Oh, that would have been real good. Well, how do you want me to hold you up? I don't know. Can you give me a Where's the post there interview? Oh, I love seeing it. So here that shit makes me so happy. Shadow Raid Legends. Get paid from people downloading the shit app. Um, yeah, target practice, bro. No, let's just wait. Come on, this fucking idiot. I don't care about the ads. Uh, okay, here we go. Yeah. I get that out of you. All right. Get it out of me. Yeah, there's two prongs in you. Two prongs in me. Damn. Oh, cute. Real cute. Go ahead and have a seat. I'll turn the air on. Can you pull your seat up or something? Or that's that's as much as we got. Can your fucking stomach tuck in those pants a little more? She just wants every accommodation. So yeah, Gary did a rage sponsor. Everybody does that when they're low on cash. Because I knew that you would arrest me. I wasn't I... going to. All you had to do was sign wait, the wait, ticket. Wait, 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 wait. So why did you take off? Because I knew you would arrest me. I and wasn't I, going to. All you had yes, to do was you, sign a ticket. But can you, well, just listen to me a minute. Do you know that nobody, nobody wants to come to cash in for any reason whatsoever because they know it's going to be an $80 fine for some dumb something all the time. Well, when you drown around like that, where do you think you can go Her shit is busted, though. Like her shit yeah, is please. busted. Like, look at her back end. Like, look at that. That shit is beat. Like, that tail light's beat. That truck bed is beat. And now she's hate, now she's insulting even more. She's saying nobody wants to come through cash in because everybody gets an eighty dollars something. Like, come on, shut up, lady. It's eighty dollar ticket. Just sign it. I'm to Kingfisher right now to go to Loyal. You may not listen. And I've bought groceries. You I, may not like the laws, but we're here to enforce them. Whether that be in cash in Oklahoma County or wherever. Okay. You guys are going to learn the hard way that we're not putting up with it. Who's you guys? You're just you're, the citizens. You're saying the Hamels. The you citizens. Guys. The citizens of Cash. All right. The citizens of Cash. You break the law in Cash, and we're going to enforce it. Yeah. Rather you're just a can't, Hamel or not. She can't admit that she's wrong. Okay. No. Yeah. Did this. Yeah, yeah, you did not have to taser me. You wouldn't comply. You wouldn't get out. I wonder why she got this Christmas me. shirt on so, in July. Yes, I did. Them damn reading glasses. Yeah, I tried to kick you because yeah. I'm a country girl. Because no, I and didn't. You got like taste because of it. Yes, and I didn't like being thrown on the damn ground. Well, next time, listen. I kick you because I'm a country girl. Why is he even explaining to it? Well, this is something what we call rubbing it in. Uh, I don't know if you've ever been arrested, but I have. Cops really like to play the moral high ground. As you can notice, the the limp hand, the leaning on the side. Well, do, do you feel bad for what you did there, little buddy? Well, do you, well, did you understand why I pulled you over today? Well, why'd you run? <laughs> well, you, they like to play that moral high ground. This is them basically like, you know when, you know those country ass dudes, they kill a buck and they take a picture with it? This is the cop equivalent. They pull you over, they arrest you, and then afterwards they want to rub it in your face of why they arrested you and why you're stupid. They want you to validate how dumb you are. That's what they do. Um, you gotta love it. My newest, oh man, and, and look at this. Look at what the next thing I see. <laughs> Lunars, I appreciate that. Um, but that's what they do. They just want to, well, you, I mean, you're, you're stupid, right? I mean, I'm smarter than you, right? Because I didn't go to college and I, I just took like a physical PT exam and I'm a cop, right? <laughs> like these dudes all have 
deflated egos as well, so they have to do something to boost them up. I mean, you just taste a grandma. I'd be like, hey, you could have just signed the ticket. All right, we're going to take you in, book you, you'll be out. I wouldn't have been like, well, why'd you run? That's not your job. Well, I mean, why, well, why'd you, why didn't you sign the ticket? You're not the judge, you're not the jury. Put the bitch in the car, go about your day, do your paperwork. But he wants to rub it in. You know what I mean? You need some Scooby snacks because I ate mine cop. Yeah, for real. Here we go. Um, what did what did uh, Mukbang say? I feel like she has priors. Her mouth not too big. Yeah, for real. My newest hobby, reporting IG influencers for shitcoin scams. They're everywhere, boys. They're everywhere, boys. Watch out for these shitcoins, dog. Hey, what shit. Is, is this my cousin? Whistleface on Reddit? They got my cousin on here, Whistleface. Chat, I will never look at that. That bald ass noodle. Uh uh. Yeah, they think they're judge, jury, and executioner. It's like, it doesn't work like that, big dog. It does not work like that. It's just not, it's not how it goes. It's yeah. not how it is. You told me to go back to Oakland, right? Let me tell you, dusty, dirty, dingy, mannequin built ass something. You don't tell me what the fuck. Dusty, dirty, dingy, mannequin built ass. CX coin? Um. Uh, well, as far as the CX coin thing, um, uh, let me show you guys a side-by-side -side comparison of what a pump and dump looks like, okay? And then I'm going to let you guys, I'm going to let you guys make your own assumptions. So this is save the kids token, okay? This is a save the kids token, which is the token that... Uh, phase K got kicked out of phase four as you can see here really really high in the beginning That's called the pump and or the dump right there, and then it plummets Goes back down to kind of normal status there, right? This is the save the kids token This is the CX coin Pretty similar not as drastic because I mean it's not you know with the phase K shit It was phase K rice gum Jarvis, you know Tico N Nikon all those dudes um, Paul did this by himself, but um, very similar graph. Just keep it in mind, kids. I'm not going to say what I think, um, but yeah. So I don't know. I, I just, just be smart. Be smart, guys. Like if an influencer is pumping something, almost every time an influencer is, is pushing something, I'd almost say don't buy it. Unless, because here, here, I'm never probably going to push you guys to buy anything besides GG subs. I get a small commission off of that, but I actually really fuck with GG subs. It's like a product I buy, but I don't have stock in GG subs, but I fuck with GG subs. Um, but I, I'll, I'm going to always advise shit like a Celsius wallet. Like, go put your crypto in this wallet. You get 50 bucks if you transfer more than $400 of Bitcoin into it. It's like, that actually benefits you a ton. It's not like a coin. I'm not selling a product. Now, if you want to buy my merch and shit, hey, have at it. But I'm not, I'm probably, probably not ever going to push it. But remember, influencers, the, the word influence is to influence you to do something. Most of the time, they want money out of it. Don't, don't, and I, I, maybe this is a blanket statement, but most of the time when I see influencers, content creators, they don't do shit out of the kindness of their hearts. Sometimes they do. Even with the charity streams, they get something out of it. There's usually, they get something out of it, usually. Not all the time, but usually they get something out of it. So don't don't think that like, oh my God, they're so nice, they're doing a charity stream, but it's like, they're probably getting, you know, something out of this whole ordeal. So just be weary. Be weary. Because um, it's just, it's sketchy, man. It is very sketchy. So anytime, just be careful, man. Do your own research and don't invest. I bought $500 of mean coins, shit coins from Reddit week number two. Like I'm telling you these shit coins, man. Damn, look at this shit. A thousand dollar investment in Ethereum five years ago would be worth 195 grand today. How much will it be five years from now? That's fucking wild, bro. Uh, micro crypto right now yeah man just be careful bro like do your own research dog do and, and just to make your day a little better here is a video of boris johnson trying to open an umbrella 
This dude is so out of touch with reality. Operating with the fly past. Just hearing somebody talking yeah. in a British service, accent. Well, service. how the black fuck do you bloody open a shite? Well, I, I, the, the guy next to me, Prince, whatever, fucking did it. Okay, all right. Now I have this umbrella. He looks like a mad frog. No, I'm, no, I'm, no. Oh, fuck me. I've been closed again. Fucking shite. Well, do I do this? All right, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a prime minister. I'm in charge of people's lives, and I can't even fucking open an umbrella. Dude, he looks like a melted frog. I just don't get it. How did Boris Johnson get in? And he's just like, can't even open up a mother fucking umbrella. Can't even open up an umbrella. I feel personally attacked, Elisha. That's my fault, man. That, that's my fault, man. That's my bad, dog. How do I fucking open this thing here? How, how do I how do I do this, mate? Is this how I do it here? Is that, is that when I open this up here? They just sound like they have something in the back of their throat, like a couple marbles just in the back of the throat, just in there. How, how do I do this here? So if I was going to do this here, how do I? If I was, how do I open this umbrella? It's just I don't know. Everything sounds like a damn question. They do sound very. Um, I will say, British people, you can say some of the dumbest shit. Like if I if I was a redneck and I said like, boy, I just took the fattest shit. Like if I said that, you'd be like, wow, it sounds sounds dirty. But if like a British person was like, I just took the fattest shite, you'd be like, wow. For some reason, for some reason, it actually sounds cleaner. I mean, do you agree? It sounds cleaner. I just took the fattest dump. That sounds dirty. But oh, I just took the fattest dump. That actually sounds... You know, I'm like, oh, I bet it didn't even stink. I bet it was just a little warmer in the in the room. I bet it, I, but I honestly bet it didn't even really like. But the first one, you're like, that one stunk. That one was like after a chilly night at Denny's, after the 4 a.m. chili extravaganza, where if you ate four pounds of chili, you got it free. But the other one, you're like, ah, I mean, maybe the temperature rose a little bit. Maybe the bidet had to spray the back of your, you know, butter bean butthole. But more than likely, probably what didn't even smell that bad. So it's what I'm saying. It sounds it sounds so much less violent and just vile. Like if you say like I just shanked that I just shanked that motherfucker. That sounds very violent. I just shanked that motherfucker. I don't even know how to say motherfucker in a British accent, but it just doesn't even sound as violent. You know, things don't sound as extreme in a British accent as opposed to like a southern accent or a, a Yankee accent. You know, it's just I don't know. They, they, they definitely sound... I don't know any words, but it seems to be... Remember, Cockney insults sound pretty strange. Uh, let's check that out, Brady. Let me pull this up. Cockney insults. Barney Rubble. Here comes Barney Rubble. You could take this in one of two ways. Barney Rubble means trouble, so hopefully your Cockney mates think you're kind of trouble. Here comes Barney Rubble. Cows and kisses. Skin and blister. Jock. Mockney. Radio rental. Mott and Jeff. Raspberry tart. Septic tank. Tea leaf. Apples and pears. Oh, it's all apples and pears. Like, what the fuck does that mean? <laughs> I feel like these these are kind of shite. What, what's other Cockney and like th those are insults? Oh, oh. Uh, what's what's like Cockney um Cockney sayings? Let's do that. Lower on the page. Language worth a butcher's hook. What does that even mean? Brass tracks, bees and honeys, Tom and Dick. It's just weird, man. The ultimate guide to Cockney rhyming slang. What is this? Your privacy. Apples and pears. Oh, that's the stairs. Arm, army and navy, gravy. A base and a gravy. Bees and honey. Borrow and beg. Box of toys. Coils of coke. Didn't ought. Do me good. Gay and hearty. It's a give and take. In and out. It's a good old in and out, you know? I gave her the good old in and out. Gave her a good old old fashioned. When's the last time you gave your wife an old fashioned? Like, what happened to, what happened to Americans speaking like very proper? You remember like in the 40s and 50s, those movies, like they always spoke so proper. They were always so proper, you know? Well, frankly, my dear, I just do not give a damn. Like nowadays, it was all, you know, it's all shit. Our grammar's terrible. 
Grammar's shit. We're not very smart. Let me let me give y'all some uh let me put y'all on some game. Ooh, I just saw something crazy. I gotta show y'all this shit. Yoink. There goes that glass, buddy. Oof. Bet that hurt. Good God. Uh, Mid-Atlantic. Um, put a one in the chat if you're vaccinated. Put a one in the chat if you're vaccinated. One in the chat if you if you got the vaccine. I don't care which one. Put a one in the chat if you're vaccinated. Not yet. Okay, good answer. One in the chat. Okay, so some of y'all have. I have a, a friend. I'm not going to say who they are, but I got a friend who's like totally against it. And um, me and my other buddy were just shredding him on because it's like it's the whole it's the whole like um it's the whole like uh I don't want to be a part of the herd mentality something that he said I'm not going to drop any names cuz I don't want to blast anybody he's like I don't want to be a part of the herd mentality and I'm like you understand that the herd is the majority of people that are doing one thing right majority of people had have not got the vaccine so technically you're a part of the herd and I hit him with that and it was he was like I never th and I'm like yeah herd mentality is when the majority does it it was just so funny it was so funny dude and um, just some of the shit that the people that are, that are all about unvaccination it changes your mRNA it makes you boo but that's why we had to go back up we're back up to stage four dude It, we're back up to stage four in Austin. It's fucking crazy right now. Matt Pizza Gates, oh my god, is trying to get himself into jail even though he hasn't been charged with sex trafficking a minor yet. Let's see what his dude's about. This dude gets hit with everything. What if I put the mask on? Yeah, sure. Put your mask on. You can't even go to jail. What is this old Karen doing? I, I, I'm an attorney here to see a client. Why, why do they have it closed? So you think another lockdown? Probably, bro. They're probably going to do another lockdown. Questions, and now they've locked the door. And as we came out and we came out to have that discussion, they literally ran behind us and locked the doors. Oh, now they got their backs. We don't have the opportunity to present our identification under this administration. These idiots. These two are Tweedledee and Tweedle dumbass. I can't believe Matt Gates is still like associating with that idiot. She is dumb as a bag of dicks, buddy. She is dumb as shit. People still follow these people. That's what I don't get. Like, they're still like, like, I chat, love my mom to death, but my mom thinks the election was stolen. Can you believe it? Like, really? Really? I just look at her, I'm like, Really? My mom, my mom acts like me when I was 17, thinking just everything is a fucking conspiracy. Love her to death, don't get me wrong. Me and my mom agree, agree on love, but when it comes to politics and shit like that, I'm like, she, she acts like everything's a conspiracy. Like I opened her up to it and like, I guess I just kind of opened up too much because now she's like, she thinks everything's a conspiracy. Well, the, the election was stolen and this and that and i'm like is anything true like what's true where do you get your news well i watch fox and i'm just jesus crap child got away with the elijah shits yeah it's aliens you're all wrong i know dude it's it's ridiculous man i, I just let's win the games again the official cigarette of the 1984 olympics marathon 100s <laughs> you can't make this shit up we used to be so stupid <laughs> old cigarette ads fucking crack me up dude they crack me up they're like only hot people smoke Newport 100s get your Newport 100s right now I will rock you what is this I'm just scrolling reddit right now 
Uh-oh. She said, I will rock you. And she got straight doinked. She's like, come here, bitch. Rock you, bink. Ooh. I didn't say anything. Ooh. She got, she got the body of a linebacker. That bitch could hit the A-gap like a motherfucker. Looking like Barry Sanders in the offseason. That bitch was thick. Boy coin to the moon. Now it's going to be shiggity coin or lunar coin. The lunar token. Lunar token. Imagine cigarettes as a sponsor for athletics. I know the old cig ads are so bad. I know, dude. Let's, let's check out a few of them. Old cig ads. They're so terrible, bro. <laughs> Some of them are so fucking... Smoke a fresh cigarette. Doctor recommended. In Fatima, the difference is quality. More doctors smoke camels than any other cigarette. Golly fuck. Newport tastes fresher. Newports taste like dead people. How do I know? Don't ask. Uh, Viceroy's filter the smoke. As your dentist, I would recommend Viceroy's. You can't make this shit up. Two, 20,679 physicians say luckies are less irritating. It's toasted. <laughs> Bitch, what? Here's blow blow in her face and she'll follow you anywhere. I feel like I need to reenact these with Cass, like hitting a cigarette and going, Whew. and she'll be like, get that fucking shit out of my face. They smell like ass. Gee, mommy, you sure enjoy a Marlboro. Smoke for pleasure today, no cigarette hangover tomorrow. It's toasted. These, some of these are bad. What is this? Join the Unswishables. Get the filter cigarette with the taste worth fighting for. And these bitches got black eyes. There's a fetus on one of these. Tastes great because the tobaccos are... What? Lucky's taste better. Gee, Dad, you always get the best of everything, even Marlboro. Yes, you, yes, you need never feel oversmoked. That's the miracle of Marlboro. What? With the boys. It's Chesterfield. Bro, you can't make this shit up. Some of these are cool and mild todays. These are terrible, bro. Your T-Zone will tell you. What? What? Pleasure, pleasure. Newports, I just... Uh, uh, we all know cigarettes are key. All of us know that now videos for old cigarette ads uh we have loonies in canada wait what really buy it all of it there's one that's like blow smoke in her face and she'll never leave or something to that effect well that's that was this one right here where's it at where's it at where's it at where's it at uh, fuck me here it is blow it in her face and she'll follow you anywhere guard against throat scratch study this puff chart puff by puff you're always ahead with Paul Mall. Bro, this is, wow. A $1 coin in Canada is called a loony? No cap. I gotta look this up. Holy fuck. The loony refers to the $1 Canadian coin and derives its nickname from the picture of solitary loon on the reverse side of the coin. The ob obverse side of the coin features a portrait of Queen Elizabeth II. The loony, introduced in 1987, was a replacement for the paper version of the Canadian dollar. I need one. I need at least one loony. Can someone mail me a loony, please? Birmingham. That's what a loony is? I need a thousand of them. USD to, what's due to USD to CAD? Pay somebody for a loony. Damn, y'all's dollar doing good. One dollar is, so how much, uh, so I guess one loony's like, it's like 80 cents? Not bad. I'll give you a dollar. All right, two dollars. $2 coins are loonies. The $2 coin, I really know nothing about Canadian currency. Me either. We also have a toonie? Bro, what? You have a loony and a toonie? Bro, you're fucking capping. You do have a toonie. A coin worth two Canadian... That's why they call it a toonie. Wow. 
call it a two. Two is too neat. You can't make this shit up. You really can't make this shit up. Wow. I am actually... <laughs> I don't even know what to say. I'm actually really surprised. Um, I'm actually impressed. The loony and the toony. Canadians always know how to have a good laugh. See, that's why I fuck with Canadians, bro. That's why I fuck with Canadians, man. Chat, this is shit I want to do. I want to interview people. But I want to shred them. Let me show you something real quick. This is a shit I watch. If you guys haven't seen Kevin Samuels, I highly suggest it. Him. See, what you should... You, man, but you went out with him. I guess the... the this I'm dude from is a godfather. York, so the, the I don't care, ma'am. I don't know. From New York don't mean shit to me. I'll be but in New York in the morning. Ma'am, did you pay? Did you pay? His setup is so nice. <laughs> don't play with me, you little girl. Because I'm trying to be cool with you. Don't play with me. Did you pay? Uh, so a few good. times I did. No, if it was a female. Okay, cool. So let me um, let me just preface this. Okay, so Kevin Samuels, Kevin Samuels is a um, he is a how do I say it? Image consultant. He's an image consultant, and basically what he does is he interviews modern women to try to understand why modern women think the way they think, why they tick the way they tick, why they feel the way they feel. And he d he has a lot of really good videos because he like he basically just talks to these women and they all have these crazy things that they want, but when he really starts asking them a lot of questions, it just none of it makes any sense. None of it makes any sense. Um Little Beach, send me some money. But let me let me try to find one of the shorter videos because some of his videos are really long. <laughs> this chick is great. This chick is great. She's a complete idiot. Here we go. Hi, Mr. Sam. Hey, how are you doing? Oh, my gosh. This is my second time on your show, and I'm so excited. Okay. I tell you all the time that the young folks need to be talking to you. Okay. Uh, how old are, uh, What's your first name? I mean, how I, old are you? My name is... Zoella, I'm 25. All right, what do you got for me? We're talking about being capped tonight. She okay, just so just wait. listen. A lot of people come on your show and they really try to tell you Look at the nails. You're going to tell by the no, nails. No, I don't necessarily think you're wrong. I think that, like, I think that just, as far as being capped, I feel like a lot of, I feel like it's not honesty both ways. It's like what? You know, what do you mean? It, it goes, it goes what? Both ways. Okay, right, really? this chick's dumb. Um, they're talking. I want to show you one. Uh, I want to show you one where he talks about where do you rank. That one's really fucking good. Where do I rank? Here we go. Because he's asking women. He's like, where do you rank? What is your rank? Because he rank he ranks women from one to ten, and basically the way he equates it is, um, you rate yourself one to ten, and you can't say seven. You can't say seven. This chick, the chick that that, that he was just talking about. She says she's a therapist. She's 25, only has her bachelor's. Bitch, reality check. You're not a therapist unless you have a PhD in a private practice. Not a therapist. But it's like this grandiose sense of self and this over-exaggeration of who you are and your qualifications. Um, but this one is, where do I rank? Estimating your real market value. So that's where he gets SMV, sexual marketplace value, which is a women's, which is, you know, men have it and women have it. With women, it's your fit, uh, fit feminine... Uh, Here's what men want, and here's how we rank. It's based off of being fit, feminine, friendly, cooperative, submissive, and having no kids. If you're single in the dating market, that's what your SMV is based off of. And so he lets women rank themselves from 1 to 10, and you can't use 7 because 7 usually is an, is an exaggeration or kind of an overshot on what it really is. So, yeah, she identifies as a therapist even though she's got a bachelor's degree. But whatever. Here we go. Here's the, the ranking on, women one. This one's good. He goes, where do you rank yourself? This, it's so good. Just wait. Kevin Samuels is a king. Okay. Um, you guys can hear it, right? Okay. Uh, hold on just a second. How old are you? 32nd birthday. All right. So, on the dating marketplace, what would you rank yourself? 
Okay, I know you're a little tough on this, but I personally um, would Just rank wait myself, if I couldn't pick a seven, I would personally rank myself an eight. <laughs> you have any kids? I do have two kids. Yes, I do. With the were guy you, that I was with for 10 years. Were you married? No, uh, we were going to okay. get married. So but, you, lose, you lose two points for the kids. Okay, yeah, I know. I know. I you lose I'm, two points for the kids because, I mean, and at 32. Yes, I know. <laughs> okay, you give yourself an eight. Yes. Uh, I would I would say you're about average. Well, I, I mean, that's better than you. No, no, that's like a five. I mean, I know better than you gave sense. So I appreciate it. <laughs> eight, an eight is... Th those are women who are 20, 10, 20% 20 of the population. Uh-huh. So, if you... Does she smoke cigarettes? Yes or no in the chat. Put cigs in the chat if you think she smokes cigs. Because I'm telling you right now, Having a voice like Batman. This bitch sounds like she's Batman. Would you ever consider, like women you would see on the cover of a magazine? Right. Homecoming Queens. Right. <laughs> was that you? Um. Well, I, you know, I cheered. My grandmother was a homecoming queen. No, no, no. I'm not talking I, about I your grandma. Court, I'm talking. I'm talking. Yeah, exactly. You were on the court. You weren't yeah. the queen. I wasn't the queen, no, sir. I wasn't. That's not so. And see, for you to be 32 with two mm -hmm. kids, mm -hmm. still giving yourself an eight, right. means you're overlooking the dudes that are, are that you really would be lucky to have. Oh, I mean, I would be like, yeah, I would. I mean, I would be lucky to have even like like you say, an average man that makes right. You know, I, would, but, I would be lucky to have that. <laughs> but okay, we're gonna put Lisa in too. See, oh. see, but he shreds these women. It, it's so good, man. If you if you, what the fuck is this? This is about to be your new addiction. Go watch Kevin Samuels on YouTube. He shreds women all day, and it's the funniest shit because these women get on here thinking they're hot shit, and he just is like, uh-uh. I will listen to these over and over and over because it's good It's good to like, bro, it's, bro, this is so good. Like, bro, if you haven't watched this shit, you gotta be. Did Cass leave? This is some... No, Cass didn't leave. I make Cass watch this shit, too. I make her listen to this. Because modern women all kind of think... I'm not saying they all think like this, but they kind of think in this realm. Like, they think they're the shit. Like, that's... Um, it's modern women. Okay, Michelle, you ready? You got yourself together now? She was... Uh, it's a big one. I'm 5'9". So he asked him, he's like, height, weight, um, dress size. Because the main thing, most of these women get on here and they're dogging men. Like, they're dogging men. They dog men pretty hard. But have you ever seen, like, like um, Lizzo? He, he talks about Lizzo. He's like, Lizzo thinks she's a 10, right? When we all know Lizzo's not a 10. Because if Lizzo thought she was a 10, then she would want men that looked like her. She doesn't want men that look like her. She wants men that look like Chris Pratt. She's been notoriously found for, like she got, like she put out there that she DM'd Chris Pratt. It's like, well, if you're so body positive, why don't you just go for men that look like you and are your size? Because she don't want men like that. So it's like a double standard. So that's like his whole thing. He's like, a lot of these women think they're tens when they're like, you lucky to be a five. And he's an image consultant. So this is what he does for a living. Like he gets people on his show, women to talk. He's like, what he's like what um what do you think what do you think your rank is and he'll let them rank themselves and he's like well do you have kids what's your height dress size how much did you weigh the last time you weighed yourself and then he'll be like well you're actually around boom here Ten tones who are his clients um uh, men women the way he talks to men is like is brutal he's very mean to men he's actually he's actually pretty polite to these women um it's just comical but it's also to me, I want to learn more about image consulting, and I also want to be a really good boyfriend, and I'm hopefully a, a good husband one day. Um, but he's a coach, and so I I watch this because he he talks a lot about relationships and a lot about the maybe the hierarchy of a relationship. Right, M uh, most women want a provider male. 
Like most of the women that he talks to, he's like, do you want to be married? And they say yes. And then he goes, okay, how much of the financial load do you want to be responsible for until, you know, until you die for the entirety of the rest of your life? Most women don't say anything more than 20 or 30%, which means they want a provider male. Because that means if you had four legs on a chair, you took out one of them, the three could still stand. You know what I mean? That's his whole like analogy for it. But most women want to provide her male. Most women don't want to have to work after they're pregnant, after having kids. And they don't want to be responsible for a substantial amount of the financial load in the family, which is fine. Which That's okay. But a lot of these women feel entitled that he talks to. I'm not saying all women, but a lot of these women he talks to feel entitled because they're like, well, I want him to pay for everything and I don't want to have to do shit either. And I've always said this shit. Um... Like a conservative? Dude, no. Nah, no, nah, I've... Bro, well, no. Crew wants to put someone in their place. Accountability is hard with women, but, but the thing is, it's easy with men. You know what I mean? Like, if if we were all doing something... We talked about this the other day. If we were all playing... If we were all doing some kind of sport that was physical, it was like you had to pick up something or you had to do something, and we were all physically able to do it, like, we would give women more leeway than we would men. It's just like a double standard. This is th these are things that traditional men and women knew, but now there's modern women and they don't really think that. Like they want they want equal opportunity and they want equal outcome, and it's just like the world don't work like that. Uh, this is Picasso. Cash just got me this. It's not and it's not woman hating at all. I, I don't hate women. I was raised by a single mom. I have a girlfriend that I. I take care of, I pay a lot of the bills, I help out when I can, like, if it was woman hating, I'd be, I'd be single, not have a girlfriend, and, you know, woman, I'd be a womanizer, It'd be a whole lot different. We love the bitches around here, boy. You doing all right? How old are you? <laughs> I'm 35, I'm 35. She's all 35. right, where would you rank yourself on the <laughs> sexual marketplace? On the sexual marketplace? On the dating marketplace, um, that's the sexual marketplace. The dating marketplace is the sexual marketplace. Oh. I would say about, I would say about a five. About a Any five. children? I do. I have a child. Mm -hmm. How old? Okay. Got a kid. He's six years old. Um, were you married? Yes. Oh, she was. Okay. Was the child conceived? I was married for 12 years. Oh, so wow. you're in the five, okay. So how tall are you? Uh, it's a big one. I'm five nine. Okay. How much do you? Um, what's your dress size? I wear size ten. How much did you weigh last time you weighed yourself? Two hundred pounds. Huh? Um, two? Two hundred pounds. You know, uh, if you want a date, you're gonna have to drop substantial weight. Yes. So, when do you plan on doing that? I work out um, now. Now Here we go. This week I started. I went vacation in the summer. And um, see, he has these sound I'm bites. He just slapped her. He just whoosh. missed another program <laughs> in school, and then I went vacation. So I what question did I ask? Every woman, I hate to say this, most of the women he talks to, they're like, I just got through working I out. Like, I just got through. Like, I've been doing that. I've been doing that. Like, come on, bro. I ask you. I forgot. Then what are you talking about? I don't know. I just started going into a life story. You no, know, what you start doing is when women get uncomfortable about stuff, they start babbling. I said, <laughs> when do you plan on starting to work out? Oh, I started um yesterday. I know it seems so. You said you about work out. Just... Okay, ma'am, you said you work out. Okay. She started mm -hmm. yesterday. Which the implication is you work out consistently to do something about it. But you just started yesterday. That's not working out. No, it's not. So don't lie. This see y'all y'all are the y'all are the first ones you want to talk about. You want a man who's honest, but y'all are the biggest liars. Uh, that is primarily his audience, and NB. That is another reason why I watch it is because I date a woman of color. So I figured if I want to understand the woman I'm with, I need to watch that kind of content. Most of these and now white women do call in. There, there was a white chick earlier. Um, Spanish women do call in, but most of them are uh, women of color. Um, that is primarily his audience because he he primarily focuses on that demographic. Um, but the reason I watch it is because I'm I'm with Cass and I want to learn because her family, you know, 
like is different from mine. It's another, it's another type of culture and I need to learn. If I want to understand, you first have to learn. Um, uh, it does matter because it's just different. For no reason. Uh, sorry, what was the question? Do you think there's a main difference in, in that between them, a generalized one or the general culture? Just the general culture. I mean, um, like my, my white family is different than Cass's black family. It's just, it's not a bad thing. It's just reality. Like they do things differently. Like my mom is kind of scatterbrained. Her grandma is super organized, like ridiculously organized. Um, so I'm, and I'm not saying color matters a ton, but like the culture is different. The way they're treated in public is different, you know? Um, I mean, and B, you can look at it any way you want to look at it, but I'm the one with dating a person of color and, you know, trying to learn how to live in a world, you know what I mean? With a family that's not like mine. So I feel like the worst thing I could do is be ignorant to the fact. The best thing I could do is try to educate myself, which is what I'm trying to do. So let's retract. Mm -hmm. Why? Would it, why? Okay, turn your volume down on your phone because I'm getting feedback. Why? Talk to her for a minute. Let's go to the next know. chick. Hi, how are you? We go. See I am well. Says. How old are you? He's so dapper I'm all the time, 22. though. Got that stream deck. Right. Um, any children? No, I don't have any children. All right. Where would you rank yourself on the sexual marketplace, the dating marketplace? Which is um, honestly, I would rank myself around a seven or an eight. Okay, can't, you can't do a seven. Okay, I can't, we can't use seven, but that's okay. How tall are you? Five three. Five three. Mm-hmm. Uh, what's dress size? Um, how much did you weigh last time you weighed yourself? 137 pounds. Mm -hmm. And you gave yourself a what ranking? An eight. I said an eight, seven or eight. Mm, I'll give you an adjustable six. He's so just raw eight. with it. An eight is, an oh, he's eight a 10, puts yeah. you in, you know, adjustable six means you go from cute to pretty. Okay. Mm-hmm. It's the it's the area where, well, an adjustable six is basically like you can go cute to pretty, but he's just real with these broads. Like, you're five three, you're one thirty seven. He goes off the BMI, like he's just real with it. Um, but bro, the difference in when me and Cass walk around in Austin, we'll catch. I feel like we catch stares because when we dress up, we're a good looking couple. But the way that we get looked at in Abilene and like Paris when we go back to our hometowns is completely different. I, I saw it, like. Cass's dad, um, very successful in, in Abilene. We went to a uh, Hilton. He got us a hotel because, um, his AC was out of his house or whatever. So he went and get, he went and get us, uh, went to get us a Hilton, got to get us a room. So we go up there with him and he's like paying for the room. We're like, thank you so much. Appreciate you taking care of us. And, uh, when we get in there, the people at the front desk are just like, like, Hey, what can I do for you? Like they just, it, it, you can tell the, the customer service is really not there. And then right behind her dad, is just a like an older white guy and as soon as he walks in they're like oh hi sir how are you doing sir sir how was your day like really really invested in how he's doing and like i would just pay attention kind of like you know kind of sidelining try to be a wallflower pay attention to how they get treated when we go out in public and it's like it's clearly no her dad was dressed better he had a tucked in polo with dockers and dress shoes this other dude walked in with a t-shirt and jeans overweight with a uh you know a scruffy beard just look dirty carrying a backpack and we've got like nice luggage and i'm just saying dude it's different man it's different and when we walked in i was like we just i i and i was like cass i was like is this and she goes this is normal this is abilene this is we get treated differently we get we get treated completely different i'm like Wow, I'm like Paris is kind of bad, but Abilene was real bad. And we would go other places like restaurants, and people would just be like, "Like, what do you guys want?" And then you hear them talking to the next table. It's like, "Oh, hi, how are you guys doing?" Like, like they'd be really, they would really care. Um, Barry, I'm still here, baby. So the hotel was in a nice city. No, it was in Abilene, Texas. But afterwards, I, I was talking to Cass in the room, and I was like, "Is this like, is this a thing?" 
is this like a thing? And she goes, oh yeah, this is, this is normal. This is how I was, I, this is the town I was raised in. And I was like, wow, like, man, you don't even notice the privilege that you have sometimes. Cause the people behind the counter were both white. It was a white dude and a white chick. And when her dad comes in and they're just like, yeah, what can I, what you guys, you guys have a room? And he's like, yeah, you know, he's like, I'm a platinum. And her dad's like a platinum member. He's like, yeah, I'm a platinum member. And she's like, oh, thanks for being a platinum member. And this other dude comes in and they're just, oh, hi, sir. And like cracking jokes with him. And I'm like, where was that? Where was that when? Because her dad is super likable. He's a car salesman. This dude could talk to anybody. He's like super chill, super dope, easy to talk to. But that's the way we got treated. And I was like, damn, we'll probably never move back to Abilene. Never, ne you know what I mean? Being an interracial couple in Abilene is just a whole different. Tell you, and still be treated like that. Bro, and it's modern day. I'm like, it's 2021, but you go there and you're like, this feels like back in the day, man. It's weird, bro. Places place in the middle of nowhere are ignorant. Yep. Yeah, it's bad, dude. You could decide to go. The, the lowest you are is cute, but if you decide to turn it up, I'm on. Okay, sorry. One second. I need to meet the background. Got him on the TV. Yeah, in the you back. do. How old are you? All right. Hi. I'm 21 years old. Is it me or does she look 35? Sorry, let me move my camera. She looks 35. Does she not? I'm still getting background. I'm 21 years old. Okay. My grandma and I are watching you. Okay. Yeah. That's good, but you got to have the background noise off. I can't. Have, okay. I'm going to come back to both of you. Ladies, when you come on this background show. Background noise. It's so bad. He grills his um, women every time. What does this chick say? Hello. How are you? Uh, oh, yeah. Don't be me. That's the, that's the plan. Hello, how are you? I'm good. How are you? There we go. That's better audio. How old are you? 40. I'm 40. Nailed Four it. zero? Yes. Nailed it. Do uh, <laughs> you have any children? I do, yes. All right. Are you single or married? I'm single. Where would you rank yourself on the dating or the sexual marketplace? think a six. Okay. Uh, how tall are you? Five, eight. Okay. Dress size. Eight, 10. Put in the chat how many kids you think she has. Personally. Oh, he gets into a heated debate. He gets into a heated debate. Put in the chat how many kids you think she has. I'm going to say, uh, I'm going to say, I'm actually, she doesn't really give off super mommy vibes. So I'm actually going to just say one. And then the next number I want you to put in the chat is what do you think he's going to rank her? Eight, three to five, bro. Y'all, y'all, y'all being too much. Then I want you to put in the chat now, put the number that you think he would rank her. I, don't, I know you don't know him a ton, but she voted her. She said a six, I believe. I think he's going to give her a four, depending on how many kids she has. But we'll see. Ten. How much did you weigh last time you went, uh, stepped on the scale? 200 pounds. 158. All right. And how many kids do you have? One. One. I guessed it. Okay. You can tell by the way these women talk how many kids they have. I swear to God, dude. You said 810, dress size. 18, I, I nailed her age and how many kids she had. I'm telling you, I watch this shit all the time. I haven't seen this one, though. Three years old? Yeah. You can yeah. tell by how feminine they speak. Like, women with a lot of kids usually are very harsh and kind of like, hey, Kevin, and they're a little more, eh. But she's kind of like, she sounds very polite. She sounds very like, you know, She's, she, you can tell by the S's. Just listen to the S's. And, and she's like got her hair done. She's got a nice dress on, lipstick, earrings, things like that. I think you're about on time. I think you're about a six. I think that's pretty accurate. Yeah, you gave her a six. That's what I think that's pretty accurate. Okay. Um, six is cute. Um, and she it's is. For her hard age. for any of us over 40 to really be nines and tens. I mean, we, we got a factor for age for all of us. Yeah. 
So yeah, 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 yeah. Well, he said for place. every kid, it's minus two. So I mean, technically, she would be a four, but in her younger days, she was probably an eight. Got good bone structure. She looks very pretty. She hasn't. She's aged gracefully. Very proportional. Like, got natural hair. Place to be. And I mean, to the good thing about being a six, you can stay six into your seventies. <laughs> or dying. Think about now. Think about some of the some of the black. It's rare. As long as you maintain weight. This is not the way to learn culture. This isn't anything about. This isn't. We're not learning about culture. I see vids with girls of all colors together giving viewpoints seems better. Um, I, I'm not going to take advice from women on this. And, the, and firmness of skin and that kind of stuff. Let's see who's next. Um, until you're until we actually physically start. Six. Six. Tell, uh, put a one in the chat if you agree with this. Women control access to sex. Men control access to relationships. You know why women don't give good relationship advice, fresh skills is because 80% of marriages or 80% of divorces are initiated by women. Women control access to sex. Men control access to relationships. Put a one in the chat if you agree. That's something he says all the time. I agree with it because women do control access to sex, but we do uh, personally, every time I've gotten to a relationship with a chick it's because I wanted it. Most women wanted to be in a relationship with me and I'm not trying to dote. I'm not trying to be like, yeah, I'm the fucking man. But most of the time when you get sexually active with a woman, they're, they're just waiting for you to put them in a, they're just waiting for you to be like, all right, I'm ready to be in a relationship. Almost every time I've ever, ever fucked with a girl. Almost every time. Now, I'm not going to say it's been 10 out of 10, but I'd say seven times out of 10, which is the majority. Because um, there has been women that, you know, we she used me, I used her. That's a thing. That's, that's, a, that's definitely a thing. Um, but women control access to sex. Men control access to relationships. How tall are you? Five, eight and a half. Five, eight and Five, a half. Five, eight and a half? Those yes. halves. If, if anybody asks you your height, don't say the half. Just say 5'8". Dress size? An eight. Well, the reason you can't take relationship advice from women is because 8 out of 10 divorces are initiated by women. So you're going to be taking advice from someone that's going to always, like, mo majority of the time, leave. So it's like, I want to take relationship advice from a man because I'm a man. But if you're a woman, I would maybe take advice from a woman. It just depends on what your source is. I love when women use me, right? She looks 19. All right, let's guess her age. How much did you weigh last time? Uh, you I think you already said it. I'm going to say she's 22. In the next couple, three weeks, I'll be headed back to New York City. As well. So. I'm not a male activist, dude. Just uh, understand the world. Men built the world we live in. Put a one in the chat if you agree. Men built the world we live in. All of you guys probably are in in a house, in an apartment, and more than likely, the people that built that structure were a majority of males. It's just reality. I'm not trying to be maleist or a male activist. You know, fuck all that. Y'all seen me with cast. Do I seem like a male activist? No. Um, yeah. I don't think I'm chauvinist. I really don't. <laughs> I don't think I'm chauvinist. I, I really don't. Um, or a misogynist. I really don't think I'm a misogynist either because uh, I respect shit at women. I was raised by a single mom. But I think it's it's really important as we grow up to be able to speak truthfully. And as a guy who's been in multiple relationships, um, I feel like it's my duty to really understand the reality of it. As men, we kind of got to face the reality. You know what I mean? But like... The reason why I say men built the world we live in is because STEM, uh, science, technology, engineering, and math, is primarily ran by 80% of that workforce is men. So if all the men were gone, 20% of the women would have to take, would have to have responsibility of 100% of the women. Society would collapse, they would all die. We'd be, humans would be extinct in a month. Shit, probably even sooner. What is it? 
two weeks without food, two days without water, it's over. It's fucking over. <laughs> I mean, it's just done. You know what I mean? So, there you have it. You don't believe me? Go watch The Island with Bear Grylls. We've talked about that. Nika, nika, nika. I want to say this next chick is like 22. Hello? Hello. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. How are you? 22 or 24? I'm 22. 22? 22. 22. All right. 22, I guessed Any it. Children? On the money. No. All right. What would you rank yourself on the, de- on the sexual marketplace? That's two in a row. The dating marketplace. Uh, on the money. Myself at a six. Six. How tall are you? Five eight and a half. Five eight and a half. You want to know why? I know she's twenty two and not nineteen. She's got the tapestry and the septum piercing. Nineteen year olds usually don't have both. They'll have one or the other. Yes. Dress size. An eight. How much did you weigh last time you stepped on a scale? 150. Okay. I would say you're in the ballpark. I would say... Really, Bay, I do. I watch these all the time, man. I will give you a six. But honestly, kind of lucky guesses. Let's be real. I'm not, a, I'm not a savant. But the problem, I would say, is why do you have the face jewelry? Um... He calls that out all the time. That, why are you, you in drop a nightgown? point for that. Okay. <laughs> it drops you a full point. Another big thing that he has, um, she know, you know she got that Gawk Gawk 3000? That wah, wah. <laughs> Y'all fucking wilding for that, bro. Her voice is innocent. Most 22-year-olds um, sound like this. Ripley's Believe It or Not. Not all. Most do. It's the women from the ages of 30 plus that usually sound very masculine. Did you know He'll that? even tell women, he's like, put your dick up. I did not. Okay. Uh, I'm going to ask you a very blunt question. Okay? This girl's self-promotion, okay. IG at I am what September. thorough men, or men worth something, say they like women with nose rings? Can you repeat the first part of the question, What please? men, what thorough men, what thorough gentlemen, what men of value... What men who are doing something out here worth something say, I want a woman with a nose ring. Especially at bull thing. Okay. <laughs> Sectum, dude. Um, you can tell I'm he's not old guy. too sure. I couldn't give you a... What percentage of the men of the of men in that category? What percentage of men in that category say they want a woman with those kind of things? Put a hey, put a before he before she answers, put a one in the chat. He is a boomer, he's like fifty two. Put a one in the chat if you like septum piercings. Put a one in the chat. If you aesthetically like septum piercings on women, and if there are any ladies on the chat in the chat right now, put a one if you like them. Put a two if you don't like them. And for any ladies, put a one if you like men to have facial piercings, or a two if you don't. Just guess. A small amount, maybe less than like ten percent. Okay. Do you want a man in that category? It is black and white. Don't be mean because it's what you like. Do you like it or do you not like it? One if you like it, two if you don't. It's easy. They take it out. So, well, it's just like fake hair. Like, do you want all these facial piercings and fake hair? And they're like, well, she can take it out. No. What do you like? Would you rather her have it or not? Yes. I don't like them. No, I think no. I think it makes them look like a bull. I, th- I hate. Th- I've hated the septum piercings. I saw them in college. Still hate them. Less than they 10%. look like metal boogers to me. Don't like it. Excuse me. I said yes. Not in the less than ten percent. No, no, no. Of the men who are worth something, less than ten percent. Jim puts pressure on you. What I said four to five times a week for the last three weeks, and you have not seen any weight loss. That is an ineffective workout program. This is why I say, ladies, if you want to be competitive. A lot of these women do say that, too. They, they're like, well, I go to the gym all the time. And he's like, okay, well, how long have you been working out at that weight? And like four weeks? It's like, where do you work out? I work out at home. It's like, no, you need to be a seasoned person that goes to the gym to work out at home. I feel like people that only know how to work out can work out at home. You're going to have to spend some money. 
Get a personal trainer and go to the gym. Why? Because the gym puts pressure on you. Really, bait. This dude would shred all of us. He would look at me and be like, get rid of that fucking beard. He's like, why do you still wear tie-dye shirts? He would shred all of us, bro. Jim puts pressure on you because you got to go in there and be seen. I do have a question, though. Oh, before we do that, before we do that, we're talking about getting an outcome. It's not supposed to be pleasurable. Go ahead. Well, my question is, because I have been working out, but do you think it would be better to get a nutritionist? Because I think I've been working out, but I haven't changed my eating habits and changed well, my eating well, habits. Personal like, trainer. You need to get a personal trainer. Trainers will prescribe a diet for you. Oh, I didn't know that. Nu- nutritionists aren't personal. He tra- creates an experience. Like, look at him. He He's an image consultant. Trainers. He knows what the, the fuck he's doing, Most personal trainers, because they're going to... Talk to you about. I'd your love nutrition. to do this. I'd love to have people call in and just okay. talk. I'm I'm I am against. I need to learn. I need to learn a lot more before I start doing that. I feel like I'm too young to give advice right now. I need to be learning right now. Like a man, um, I would say you have a model's look. I would say, why are you wearing a suit at your house? Do you think you're more? <laughs> um, so well, he's, a, he's you- an image consultant. It's part of his swag. You should do this with Discord chat call-ins. I would love to. Every time I open up the lines, though, nobody calls. In the eight category. Um, nine, yeah, you can get to that level, but it's going to be very subjective. But you have a look. You have a look. Uh, but but as tall as you are and as thin as you are. Um, but they got a booty. So don't, don't just pull six. So. That's true. So, yep. Go ahead and take about three hundred dollars a month. Get a personal trainer, but you have a look. Oh, this is the look. chick that was back earlier. Uh, so I got a but, booty. But as Let's tall as you says. are and as thin as you are, um, but I got a booty. So don't don't cheat me just yet. I'm I'm I, I, I'm a slim thick five ten. Uh, okay, still as tall as you are, that that nicks you out for guys typically under six feet. She's 5'10". Right, Barry? That's what I'm saying. Yeah, booty is extra. So One extra point. Overperform. She didn't connect the last time. She got uh, her IG Mary, up. Are you ready? She's trying, bro. Wait, if you're ready. She's trying. IG at I am September. All right, so I, uh, the Adam's Apple Maker. Oh, my God. I'm dying. Okay. <laughs> Hello. Whoa. 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 <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! God damn! Sorry. Um. God damn. Um. I'm gonna say she's 32. Hello. How are you? <laughs> I'm fine. Did you call in the other day? No. Okay. How old are you? 35. Oh damn! I was close. Any children? Yes. Two I mean, kids. Four. <laughs> it's going to get better. Are you married? No. No. How many, how many, how many fathers? Three. Three. Hmm. Nailed it. <laughs> Nailed it. Where would you rank yourself on the mar- dating marketplace? Six. <laughs> Bitch, there is no extra credit on this one. How tall are you? Five four. Huh? How tall are you? Five eight. Oh, she's five eight. Dress size? Ten. Um, ten. Say again. Getting good at this. Ten. It's got dial up. Goddamn. Uh, it sounds like you said 10. Yes. What are you doing? Are you typing or something? No. Okay. How much did you weigh last time you stepped on a scale? 180. 185. 180. <laughs> he hits him with that shit, bro. Oh, my God. Bro, How did, I guess that shit, though. Look at that. 180. 
because dude, I want to, I want to do this shit. I want to do image consulting so bad. I want to have people hop, hop on and just be able to like call it out and call it how I see it. I'm getting good at this shit. God, he and you gave yourself good. what kind of ranking? Six. Four I kids. think you know that's not accurate, man. Really? I mean, are you are you being optimistic a little bit? I've yes. been watching this for months, though, man. Like, and I haven't seen this one specifically, but I, I in a booth or free on Craigslist. That's a really good idea. Uh, why? Um, no, because I think I'm a six. Mm, no, you're about a three or four. I'll give you four on a good day. Yeah, she's, she, oof, honey, really? you, your shit is, well, yeah, really. You have four children. Okay. You're 35, right? Yeah. You're not a, I mean, I don't believe you're dress size 10. I believe you're about a 12, 14. 12 or 14. Yeah. I think you're every bit of 200, 200 pounds. pounds. Yep. Um, just judging on your face and your carriage around your weight chest. So, um, yeah. Think in, I think in your youth, you I love but what it. What number should I use? I love it. Mm. And he sips on Red Bull. He looks like he's sipping on like scotch, but if you look way back here, Got a little Red Bull can. Dress you get drunk on the job. That's classy. About a between a four and six. How much did you weigh? La- how much did you weigh the last time you uh, stepped on the scale? What was her age? I don't, Smoking. I didn't. She she got five on it. She looked zooted like a mud boy. You're like, yeah. let me get out of this. Let me get out of talk to this dude. One's the twenties. <laughs> hey, Godfather, how you doing? Nigga? It's 420 over here. Yeah, he pours Red Bull in that glass. He never sips whiskey. Can't can't mm-hmm. drink on a job, baby. Fucking Wednesday. She had the she still got the Popeyes two pieces from yesterday. Munchies like a motherfucker. Hello? Bro, he he shreds these women sometimes. He was like, You built like Barry Sanders, hit the A gap like a motherfucker. It's some of this shit is so good. Hello, Kevin. How are you? I am well. How are She's you? in her upper twenties. Good. How old are you? 28. 23. Ooh, way off. 23. Uh, She's in her uh, 20s. Any so. children? No. Yes. Oh, no kids. Single or married? Single. How yeah, tall are you? Single. I have four. Hmm. She'll, she'll come up here and say. Dress second. size. About a, between a four and six. How much did you weigh? La- how much did you weigh the last time you stepped on the scale? 140. 150. About 135. It's close. And where would you rank yourself on the open market? She's going to say a six or an eight. Um, I'd say about a seven, eight. Can't do seven. My sister, you can't use seven. Why not? We'll pull her face up here in a minute. I don't have to. So with his whole thing, you can't use seven. Explain it to you. I said you can't use seven. Why? Young lady, I'm going to say it one more time. So what number should I use? The right one. Combative ass modern women. He said one through ten, you can't use seven. Simple rules, pick another number. Which is a five. A five? Yeah. They're a bit of a why, five. Why would I be a five? She looks average? like Marshawn Lynch. Okay. Well, everybody like, because the thing is, it's like seven is not quite an eight, but you're not quite a six. So it's like a seven is kind of like a, uh, well, it's like a modest answer. So he's always like, uh-uh, what are you? One through 10, you can't use seven. What makes me average? Because you look average. Your face, honey. You go in the club, you stand in a long line. You don't get in VIP. You stand in line with the men. It's not a bad thing. <laughs> you don't, you don't ride not up. Not even a six? No, no. not even a six. Wow. Big ass eyes, no. You look why? like Marshawn I mean, what's wrong with being average, sister. though? There's nothing wrong with being average. Then well, why you keep at? Because I told you you can't use a seven. You keep, but you're not an eight. There's no way you're an eight because if okay, you're an I eight, we seven. need to. Again, like I said, and and now your rankings falling even worse because 
Now you're beginning into your combative masculine. I didn't make it this way, ma'am. And whether I say it or anybody else says, it's not going to change the reality. We all look like what we look like. So you either become the best version of your asshole that has to keep telling women, being a five, there's that little smirk thing she was go. doing with her lips. I'm like, what the hell? Hello? It's dark where you're at. Hi, can you hear me? I can. Oh, shit is delayed yeah, as a mug. Oh, yeah, you got me on background. You got me on loops. Can't have me on uh, in the background. Two. Five. Single. All right. What would you rank your... I met with... Here we go. Hi. Hello, how are you? Good, thank you. How are you? I am well. How old are you? 28. 28. Any children? No. All right. Um, He'll rank men, but he mainly does married. women. Single. All right. What would you rank yourself on the open dating marketplace? I would say four and a half, five. Hmm. Okay. He's, How tall are you? Honest. Five, seven. Dress size? Two. Fresh Skills, I watch, um, I've seen Fresh and Fit. I like those guys, but they're really not, I just feel like they're 30-year-old dudes that think they've got it figured out. This guy's just a lot older. I like I like hearing game from dudes that are, have a little bit more wisdom because the dude that talks, I mean, he's good. I've seen him, and he's been on Fresh and Fit before, but these guys wish they were Kevin Samuels. Like, these guys are nowhere near where he's at. I promise you. Like, you, you can see those guys. But those guys are, like, misogynist, chauvinistic, like, women are lesser. He's like, women are great. I love women. And he was raised by an, a single mom. But, like, some of those guys on Fresh and Fit, I'm like, eh. And the thing is, when they have those other women on there, they're, like, only fans girls. And I'm like, eh. Um, he is controlling because he runs his own show. But these women call in. How much did you weigh last time you stepped on the scale? 132. 5'7"? That's actually solid. Correct. Mm, I'd actually give you a, a 6. 6? Okay. Actually, well, I okay. well, 6 plus. I can't give you an adjustable 6, but I say a 6, 6 plus. I mean, you're cute. The skin is smooth. <laughs> Thank you. So, I mean, you're not, you're certainly not below average. Um, so, no. No. Uh, and then. He's being nice to her. She was below average. Um, let's see. Fresh and fit's not bad. Um, let me show you Kevin Samuels on Fresh and Fit. Because he calls himself the godfather for a reason. He was being nice to her. No, no cap. He was being really nice to her. What, babe? Go where? You want me to come to bed? What time is it? It's nine. <laughs> well, there we go. Chat, the uh, the queen has spoken. We'll have to get into this next time. Tell your wife to stream. <laughs> she does not want to stream, bro. Uh, she likes to sleep too much. Bro, we got a mattress topper. All right, then. Y'all know what the game is now. All right, man. I love you guys. Till next time, you can shig shiggity, wig wiggity, big biggity, bet that. It was good to have you guys out, man. Thanks to everybody that tuned in today. Fucking love y'all. Y'all know Cass. Y'all can't say I'm a misogynist. Can't say I'm chauvinist. I love my woman. She asked for something. She's going to get it. Um, but I love you guys. We'll keep we'll keep doing this one. And uh, maybe, maybe this weekend or next week, we'll do some call-ins. So let's raid somebody, and then we'll call it quits, man. Who should we raid? Let's let's raid this dude, Uncle Ran, Uncle Ron. He's playing Halo Infinite. Fuck it, I don't I don't even know what Halo let's Infinite is, so let's do that. Ran, Uncle Ron. He's playing. Halo. Let's do raid Uncle Ron. I think that's how you say his name. Go show this guy what's up, man. All right, I love you guys. Until next time, peace.